Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the YouTube account and we are looking at the absolute broken Leica, guys. Now we knew over on the test server that she was coming in pretty high on the damage. Um, we have not seen anything on par with how crazy she is being in game modes. So overall guys, let's hop in here, go through the hellscape. I also wanna get pick up some more cards. We're gonna try to pick up some more copies of her. But overall guys, 249 trillion damage in this game mode. That is right. Liberta, even where um, he is at, has 113. So over doubling up the damage that we see in here, guys. It is insane the amount of damage that Leica is doing. And I don't know if in a lot of formations, guys, that we're actually gonna be seeing Leica replacing Belinda, but Belinda will run essentially in a different team comp. Now remember, the ultimate ability that is happening right here, guys, and you can see the timer with how fast this is going down, but the ultimate ability is hitting the target one time, then because it is single target, because we only do have one boss, it is hitting with nine additional comets, which means guys, this is just bonkers when it comes to um, how fast this is coming out. Now, of course, this is the whale comp, um, having both Liberta built out to this level and then Leica built out to this level, but you can see the damage here is just insane guys it, it is kind of crazy to see exactly how fast this is going on liberta of course with those orbs kind of going back and forth and then we have um demia back down there for the the dawn or the ultimate ability which means that the targets will not die they actually stay at a little bit of health and then we do have the other targets that are healing it up making this work incredibly well again leading to almost 250 trillion damage in this boss guys now in the cursed realm we are seeing the exact same thing so within the leaderboards um some of the whales that went through and kind of built her out we've seen Leica showing up in a couple different formations so right here we have almost 17 billion damage that is right guys when you look at the other formations even here we're about at eight looking in here kind of a mix with the awakened version of athelia and they're 17 billion from Leica. even looking here at eins at 10 and again kind of an unusual um, combination of heroes in here, 7 billion right there. Last one is hid, but even looking at 7 billion, 10 billion, she is doing almost 17 billion damage in this game mode, guys, which again is just crazy to see when it comes to how much damage. And again, I know a lot of players talk about the power creep. Bane's at 5.5 right here. Then we look at the other bosses, 8.4 with the awakened version of Belinda. And even Scarlet guys putting out a lot of damage. We have Rem right there. And then of course Liberta in this one, but Leica is down here. Now, interesting enough, you'll notice because of the dynamic of this one specifically, and this is where a, a lot of the utility kind of comes in with the hero. So like we've said before, guys, with the hero doing an incredible amount of damage, this is because the target dies fast. That is the reason why in this game mode, we're not quite seeing the, the comments or the ultimate ability going is because the target will die long before. I think she gets like two alts in here. But with that being said, guys, she brings such a high utility as a ranger, as almost like a support hero in these formations, meaning that she is buffing Liberta. She is buffing um, Olgath in here. The buffs are here. The magical pierce is here. The magical suppression um, really goes without being said with this hero, guys. And again, we're seeing it in every single game mode that she is being just absolutely broken. Now we know, guys, this was the original pay to win account. So I'm gonna pick up just a couple cards in here and we had a pack right up here from Leica, already building it up. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. Now, a lot of players also ask about these surprise hero coupons, which you can see. We're gonna get some extra resources out of both of these, including red chests or elemental cores. And I usually do not pick these up, guys. Again, that's something that we normally do not do in this game mode or really at all. But I wanna show you exactly what those cards are because a lot of players ask what those cards are and how we can get those cards. Now, in addition, guys, in the wishing ship, this gives us some free draws in here. So I'm hoping to pick up these furniture scrolls Probably not going to happen. Most of the time, it does not happen. We pick up some extra pull coins in there. But those cards we were specifically looking at, and again, a lot of players do ask about them in the bag. They are right here, guys. Surprise hero coupon. We have a surprise choice coupon, and then we have a surprise coupon. These were actually awarded, I believe, after the first year of AFK Arena for players that made purchases within AFK Arena. 
So they were kind of a reward program for future purchases that you can get some extra resources out of, which is super, super important um, for players that are going in there and um, making a lot of purchases. They're bumping the incentive, which they, again, those cards are like three years old. That is probably why I get so many um, questions about them. But here we have 32 cards, guys. We need two copies of Leica and we will actually be able to take her to Ascended. So fingers crossed, I'm hoping this is gonna be it, guys, that we can make and get one or two copies together. I'm hoping we might not get anything out of this. We might not get anything with the cards, but there is one, guys, which just gives us a single. So out of those 30 additional cards, we got one single copy, which leaves us one short as of right now, guys. If I could use some diamonds on this, if I could use some resources on this, I absolutely would. Now we do get two cards every single day, um, meaning that we could get them out of there eventually, but I think we're gonna do this one, guys, because here's another 30 cards. If we don't get it out of this, guys, I am done. As you can see, the Google Play card is done at this point, um, but we, we got a couple more cards in here. We also did get a couple out of here with the wishing tokens. Also another summon out of this one, but again, we won't be able to use it probably till tomorrow. Let's check this wishing well. This is one, the wishing dreams. Now the prize in here, guys, of course we can get a lot of resources, but I would love to get the poke coins. I would love to get the bait out of here. It would be awesome to see, which there we go. We get some poke coins. We get 10 Stargazer cards. So unfortunately, nothing really worth it in there, but we did pick up some extra diamonds in there. And of course, fingers crossed guys, that's it, we got 30 cards. This is the final draw. This is it to build this awakened version of Leica. We could throw some furniture on her. Um, then we could go actually here and do some more summons if we can get this final copy. Let's see guys, we need one. We need one copy in here to build this hero out. Just some resources on number one. Number two, not giving us anything either. The final one here does not give us the copy we need. So unfortunately, Little bit of disappointed in there, but we did get some more cards. Again, we we could see or, or could go in here and see if we can get anything else. But again, I, I don't know if five more cards is gonna do it. I, I don't wanna do it. And I know um, I'm thinking Apollonier would be like, you know what, just go do it. Um, but I'm wondering if this is gonna be it, guys, if we still have this in here, which we do just enough. We're gonna get it, we're, we're gonna get it, guys. And again, not something that we normally do, but we know the power of Leica and we know the build going in for, for the full on whale in this one. Again, we can do one more draw in here. Maybe it'll be a furniture. Nope, just a couple more resources, but that's okay. The advanced ship is getting there, guys, and this should be it as, as much as I didn't want to. Um, this is also gonna allow us to save cards for the next Awakened Hero, which I'm still hoping is gonna be the Awakened version of Shamira, which I'm hoping 10, there's 20, we might not get it. Might not get it, and it is not, guys, that's it. We're done, we don't have anything left. We're gonna have to save the cards to get it, but that is what, I believe 30, 60, I believe that's 60 cards, so we have to be within five of getting it, um, but I don't think there's anywhere else that we can get some cards. Let's pop open all of this loot in here, but I don't think there's anywhere else, guys, that we have any cards left. Short of possibly looking, and look at that, 35, 24 hour chess. That is incredible. And then of course these 10, I'm gonna go ahead and get another 300 out of there. So again, we have enough resources to build her out, but let's pop open these cards. That's another 40K essence in there, which is crazy. Nothing in there that we need, nothing there. And then Light Bear's probably gonna be the same. We continue to just recycle these. And I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think if there's anywhere that we can pull a couple more cards because the voyage isn't up. We're not done at this point. Let's have a look around here, guys, and see if there's anywhere that we can pull some more cards that we could possibly get this done because we're out of money at this point for the entire month. That is right, guys, we're done for the month on this one. And we're about halfway through, but we gain a level, which is good, 785. We gain two levels, 786. Again, we're starting to push those levels. Now within, again, the game modes, let's collect, collect up what we have from Leica right now. So here we have all of this loot, guys. We're almost to that animated avatar frame. Again, we need one more copy, get some Stargazer cards right there. I believe we don't have enough left. 
which we do not. That is it. So Hero Growth, of course, we got the plus 30 signature item. Can't do the furniture on there. Can't do any of those. So here we're pretty much spent. Let's check through the events, guys. Celestial Isles, this is one that is already done. Used all of our resources. Hero Zesperia, not going to use anything. Treasure Scramble, not going to use anything. Temple Rift, I believe at this point, we have all the cards, guys. We only have Stargazer cards left, which, of course, this is going to give us a little, which 200 right there. But again, we don't have anything to buy for the time emblems. We, we are going to, to come up short from getting any of these. Of course, Autumn Times, we just actually picked that up. Right over here, the Grim Expanse is already done. Bountiful Trials is not going to yield any cards. And all of these are done. That could yield some cards as well. So again, I think we're out of everything. I think we're out in our entirety. Short of pushing the tower, guys, if we could make it through a couple more floors. Now, of course, this one is already capped. We would have to get through essentially six more floors in the World Tree. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, after a while, unfortunately, World Tree will not budge. We are locked down there. Now, I'm wondering if with the reset within the Nightmare Corridor, um, if we can pull a couple in here. I, I am wondering if this might be our saving grace in here. Let's check out some of these formations, guys. I'm just going to grab the first one that I have. Of course, my pet's not super high up to par. Um, I make sure all of these formations are kind of filled in. But I'm thinking there's Trishia in there. Like is in there. So let's go ahead. I'm going to run 10 of these. Let's see if we can kill all six of these bosses, guys. I, I think we will be able to, which there we go. Giving us some resources up here. 8,500 off the bat, which we could do the 10 challenge. We could do the 30 right there if we really wanted to. Um, kill the Light Martyr with using or without using more than four. So it is that one again, guys. You know what? I want to try killing the Light Martyr. I believe is our brand new boss um, in here. Thinking like it could do it. I, I think there's a couple formations, but I want to see reward wise, which we did get. Guys, can we get from the Dream Store, which we can. The time emblems. That's what we were looking for, guys. Is that 10 going to be enough? Oh, my goodness. And also, Frampton is in here, guys. I have Frampton at five stars. So Frampton did remain in there, meaning we could use him as a swap. But is this going to be the time? Is it going to be for the, the Dawn bringer Leica? Let's see. Full animation. We got, the, we got the yellow right there. Let's flip this thing over, guys. Boom. There is the copy. So we should have it. We should have those three copies. Wow, that is epic. I didn't even think of the Nightmare Corridor in there. But that does take her up to Ascended. There it is, guys. There it is. I did not think we were going to get that, guys. But we got lucky with that Nightmare Corridor, which means we can hop over here. We can grab our additional three copies out of here. Let's see what we can do, guys. There we go. The Awakened version of Leica is in here. 202 cards, 82K. We should be able to get three. We need three copies out of here. Number one gives us a copy. One single pull. We do get a copy out of there. Hopefully some resources. So we need two more. There's number two, guys. Let's keep it going. And you know what? I think I'm just going to burn diamonds. I, I think we're going to go in here. I'm going to use them all. I'm going to use the diamonds. I'm going to use the cards. We might be able to add a star on there. But we're going to have her built. And I'm super stoked. We need one more copy, guys. And there we go. So that is our one star. What do we got? 112 left. I'm going to keep going. Let's see if we can get lucky. Let's see a double, guys. I want to see some diamonds in here. Getting a lot of resources starting to go to the, to the uh, mailbox in there. Come on, Leica. There we go. There's another copy. So we need two more to add that second star on there. Whew, it's going to be a lot. Two more copies. Come on, double. Still getting a lot of Dora's artifact fragments, which we don't need. Gear we don't need. Come on, two more cards. One more copy. We need one more copy. With 78, we should be able to do easy. Can we get a double? Literally, we're just pulling these singles in here, guys. There's one, which gives us two stars. Okay, we're, we're good there. We got two stars. 
53K left. There's another copy. We need two more to add three stars. Could we do it, guys? We, we got to be close. Wow, where's our double? Look at all the, the fragments in there that literally just go in the garbage, guys. They're not going to give us the other copies, guys. Three more summons. There's a double. There we go. That should give us three stars, guys. Very, very nice. That takes her to three stars. We have 13 left. Let's do two more. One, and of course, final one, guys. Does not yield us anything, but that should give us quite a few copies. Look at the stack of Lycas that we have here. Very, very nice. Still can't believe the Nightmare Corridor. I, I was looking around. I was sitting there. We farmed the tower for quite a while. while. Um, the tower didn't take us anywhere, guys. So there is the engraving. Again, that takes her to two stars. That takes her to three stars. Wow. We got it done. That, that's all I got to say. We got it done, guys. Let's go ahead and drop her in. We'll move her over to our tower. Let's expand this up. There she is. Let's put what furniture we have on her because I know we don't have all of the furniture. That's okay because we can do a little, guys. Let's move her over. There we go. Still going to have to get some more out of the Nightmare Corridor, but there is Leica, guys, in her entirety. Now, within the workshop, again, we have Leica in here right there. Three stars. Awesome. Five cards right here, which, of course, we're just going to be using for Leica. Get her built up a little bit further. There we go. So that gives her the five of nine, just like that. Very nice. That is awesome to see. We've got two summons in here. We're going to be one short of getting another mythic piece, but maybe we could get one, which we do not. Okay, let's recycle. I don't think we'll have another for enough for another, but we have her furniture. I mean, we have her bonuses we're going to get. Let's build her up, guys. Where is she at? Um, it's pretty similar in picture in there. All right. So we got the engraving mats again. We've been saving these guys. There is the 30. Boom. Right there is the 60. Very, very cool. Now, I know we need 6,000 to actually take her to the 80. Um, similar to what we did with the Awakened version of Belinda, actually getting her stars on there. At three stars, going to make a big difference, but we need 6,000. Thousand. That is right, guys. We're at five right now. We're pretty close. We're we're pretty close. Um, I want to take her a little bit higher though. So let's see. Again, we're, we're looking at the power creep. We're looking at building her out. Um, what do we have here? Crit and crit damage amplification. Um, yep, I'll definitely take those two. Physical pierce and accuracy. Yes, we know she is huge with physical pierce doing damage. Crit and haste. Again, guys, they literally just stacked her. Magic resistance and dodge, not worried about. Physical, crit block rate, not worried about. Attack and haste. Yes, I will definitely take the attack and haste. Taking her to a 68 HP, crit damage reduction, defense and physical resistance. Not worried about it, guys. So, so we took the crit, the crit damage amplification, physical pierce accuracy, which again, physical pierce is gonna amplify the damage. Crit and haste. And then of course, we have the attack up here 68 that that is where we wanted to take your guys but look at the build need a couple more pieces of furniture and i have i know i have the um gear we'll, we'll just have to use some of the chests. we'll get the gear built out but that means guys that we're going to replace lucila when it comes to the build here and hopefully get another piece of furniture because there's six thousand po coins right there boom we get a lot of resources in here two more and i'm just going to take her to five i, I want to get one of these furniture scrolls in here guys and of course, we're going to get 2,000 out of there and a rebate for another 250 out of here. Wow. That is a pretty big build, guys. Let's do one more furniture summon because it's going to give us another red card, which is going to be right here, bringing her one closer and a mythic piece, which is going to be Belinda again. We have another piece on there for Belinda. One, two, three, not going to give us enough, but the card is in here. Of course, is going to go right to Leica, guys, giving her the six of nine furniture. And again, we're going to dump the resources in here. So even Belinda. Oh, I, sh I should have done it manually. That's okay, though. 
There we go, guys. Built up one higher with Leica. So we're close. We're close, guys. We have six of nine furniture. Um, the engraving is at 68. Super excited to get her built up. That is awesome. That is absolutely awesome. And you can see, guys, she's already coming in pretty high where she's at. We'll get her set, though. But all right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. I'm so glad that we made it. And as always, thank you guys for watching.